Hello everybody and welcome back to Path to Exile. I'm joined by Kevin. Um, we're gonna... My goal right now is to complete this whole entire map. Um, can't remember how to bring it up, but anyways, it's a whole entire area. And complete the whole entire act, so that is my goal. And um, while I've been away, I've been working on my character. I got now use a bow and arrow with just some different skill gems to help out and protect and add armor and potions and um i got this thing where i shoot the arrows and you'll see it'll shoot like five or six at once like right out in, in the beam and i can also shoot a fireball just like that and um yeah just some fun things here i hope you guys are enjoying the series and just like that. Let's get into it. Alright, so we're gonna try and explore this whole area here. may not pick up everything that I that they drop because some things aren't like worth me picking up. Some of it I can sell though. These are my my, little zo my zombie dudes. They last a while and when they die I can just bring them back to life. kind of exploring, making sure I cover the whole entire map here. In here. No. No, it's not going to help me out any. Alright, I think this whole entire area has been explored. There is a book over here I guess I need to go to. Black storms descend on us from the north. Unnatural tempests of rage and hatred. And we're back. And we're Black extremely. Storms descend on us from the north. Right. So, Unnatural we're still in the same party, so I guess just uh, open up waypoint and I'll be there with my army. Um, I'm in the mud flats. I can't find this passage that they, they're telling me to go to. Explore the mud flats. That's fine. But it says, enter the submerged passage in the mud flats. Yep. And that means you gotta look for it. Oh, there we go. Found it. Or I thought so. Took it to the wall. What is that? Oh, there we are. Submerged passage. I don't know how to open up a waypoint for you to teleport to me. Yeah, you need a, a scroll. Oh, oh, actually you just entered there's right There's a waypoint my, right my... here. I found a waypoint. I'm at the submerged passage. Yeah. Yep, was, there's your whole entire say, army. Could... Oh yeah. Okay. What are those white dudes? They look like floating, they look like um, fighters, They're but ghosts. they float. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They're um, so I got three of them. They're specters, and they're technically the core of my build, though they're not really strong enough yet for me to fully commit to them, but eventually they will be. Anyway, um, I can resurrect an individual enemy, and or, you know, as many as I can, uh, my capacity can hold, but for each one that I resurrect, they actually have all the same abilities and skills and everything. So oh, I went to what a, are those a high dudes? Act, high act and grab them, then came back here. So they've got some good... Much clutter. Good powers. Okay. Travel to prisoner's gate and talk to the dude in in the in the um in the town area to get your reward. Okay.
know what I like? I just put on a new gem. Mm -hmm. So even though this is a low level for me, and I'm not getting any, like, class experience, I'm still able to level up my gem. Oh, there's a. What does what does it mean when the when the enemy is like glowing red? Does that mean they're a boss? Glowing red? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, you get a lot of like special and unique enemies, so it well, could mean any right number here. of things. I just grabbed something pretty cool. So hold on. Yeah, it's I'm a read it's a brood princess. Too much clutter. Okay, this Next is actually worth uh, equipping onto my main class. That's awesome. I actually just found uh, a unique wand that I'm willing to use. Sweet. I'd say you could have my old one, but that requires level 66, so I'm sure you wouldn't be interested in holding on to that long. Actually, maybe you would. Yeah, you have your stash. That's true. Yep. I don't know if you use your stash, but I do. There. Too much clutter. Hey, there's something here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of the dudes. Is that what you wanted? What? You want a place called the ledge? No, I'm looking for um travel to prisoner's gate. Not entirely sure where it is. I'm kind of just open to suggestions now. Of Actually, yes, uh, we do go through the ledge. I just checked on that. Okay. I okay. um. I'm up here. Sweet. I um. My goal is to complete this complete act one. That is my goal. In this video? Yes. Hey, let's do it. I don't suppose you can make a um. A portal, so I can go back to the the lion's eye. The lion's eye. Yeah, like the town, and collect my reward for completing ah, a gotcha. a thing. Uh, this area will actually have a. I could, but this area will have a. Uh, what's it called? Shit. A way uh, gateway or whatever. A waypoint. Yes, it's a waypoint. Now, uh, once you get a waypoint, then we'll be able to just go freely back and forth. So. Once we discover it, which is going to happen anyway, once we discover it, then yeah, you can go back, you can manage your inventory, do this and that, and the other thing. Did my shield actually get... Did someone burn my shield? That's weird. Maybe I got, like, D-leveled because I'm... Oh, here we go, right there. Alright, and if you don't mind, while you're back, I will also go do my own thing just for a second. That you've drained that passage. Select the reward. Ooh. Okay, so I'm now back up to speed on this. So you can have my old wand if you want. It's a level 66 again, but it's really good. 
The thing that Anthony was using was it um detonate corpse or detonate dead? Yeah, it was a skill. Yeah. I don't know the name of it. I just know that there is a corpse explosion one. Um, let me know when you're done with that. I will trade with you. No, I'll give okay. you my old my old wand. And again, best just to keep it in your stash. You won't be able to use it for a while, but it's it's good. Sharp out there. All right, I'll trade with you. Yeah, I gotta put, put uh, yeah, this is a good one. This one. Just if you're interested. Yep. There you go. Take care of her. It's very good. Although, just again, you just can't use it to level box. 40, so it's going in the stash box. Oh, 40. Oh, cool. For some reason, I thought it was 60. Yeah, even better. That's good. that and
Okay. Now, somehow we can go back to... What's yep. That? Back at the ledge. Back at the ledge, okay. It's tying up some shit. Oh, we got goat men. Goat man. It's almost oh, like taking right. those things. Forgot. Candy I, from a baby? No, taking the things that you can make in um, Dreisenjuk and like go jumping around using them. I can't think of what they're called. You use them in the Easter egg, you put them in the center. Oh, Ragnarok? Yeah, using the Ragnaroks. That's what those Goatmen dudes do. They jump around nice. and attack. I have no idea where we're supposed to go, so I'll just keep keep on keeping on, you know? We need to go to travel to the flooded depths and to the prisoner's gate. I assume yeah. the prisoner's gate is an end goal. With this, Yeah, it's, it's uh, several locations away. Yes, yeah, so this one is... It doesn't mean we can't get there. Yep. So we'll press on. Hopefully I'll just level up a whole bunch. With you killing all these dudes, I should be getting tons of experience. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping it's like giving you full experience, not just like inhibiting it. Oh yeah, I'm getting experience. A ton of it. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, leveled up. Hell yeah. I got two levels I can use. I didn't even realize it. Whoa, what is happening? Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know oh, what's happening. Oh, prophecy completed. What? I had a prophecy in here that I was, I was actually commenting on a little bit ago. And uh, I don't know if I said it out loud. I started to. But, yeah, he dropped a bunch of stuff. Cool. I didn't know they made swords out of copper. Like, that's weird. I think the first swords were out of copper, right? I thought they made swords out of stone, and then swords out of, um... They would take the stone and melt it into the metal and turn them into swords. After, after they progressed from the Stone Age, I don't think it was straight into the Iron Age, right? I thought it was uh, copper first. Or maybe it's... My history might all be messed up. Anyway, I found an area up here called the Climb. Actually, hold on, let me look. Yeah, okay, this is where we're supposed to, to go. Yeah, it says the f travel to the flooded depths. So, whatever that means. Mm. Ah, that's another location. So that's a side quest. You can we can definitely do that if you want. Sure. But the uh, at least this one is for now. Let's uh, let's keep on keep it on until we find a waypoint here. Then we can leave and then go to the depth. Okay. Or just keep going with the main quest. Either way works. Whatever is gonna help me level up the fastest. I don't care. Because I I'm imagining that once Probably. I level up, I'm gonna get all the good shit. That's. Oh here you go. Uh, here's this. I'd say then we should keep continue. Uh, continue with the, the path because we'll get uh, more higher level creatures faster. So, that'll level you up faster. Anyway, here's the waypoint. Oh, a whole bunch of goat men. Oh, there's a big dude over here on a wheel. You see this guy? Oh, he's dead, but he was a skeleton on like a big giant wagon wheel rolling around. That was so yeah, weird. Yeah, come back here. Uh, up here is where you get your waypoint. Okay. It's on a ledge, you gotta, yeah. Don't, don't forget your There's flame all. dash, too. That, it's nice and fun to, to zip around real quick. What is it? Flame dash? Yeah. I don't know if you have it equipped, but I gave it to you a little while ago. If you hit it, then you just, like, basically teleport. Oh, that one. I didn't, I wasn't able to equip it until level 12. Oh! I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I accidentally leveled up a bit. That's true. 
I might have fucked it up. Well, in any case. Frost Walker and Lightning Walker, that's what I'm talking about. Flame totem. Might be going the wrong way. I'm gonna check this other direction. Yeah, but there's a there's a goat man shaman right here. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. The goat people. Kind of concerning how Defeat much damage the they're fawn. doing. the fawn. What? Where's the fawn? They must. Hmm. They must scale either me down or them up. Probably me down. This guy is, he, this dude right here that I just killed, he is. Got it. Oh. I found it. Lower prison. All right, found the prison. Yeah, keep going the way you were going. Orb of transmutation. Oh, the fawn. Is that the guy you're talking about? Yeah. He dead. He dead. Got it. They gave you experience for it. Talk to Navali. I don't know who that is. But anyways, these guys are straight out of um, Mad Max Fury Road. They're like skeletons combined to a wheel. Yeah. Too much clutter. Navali. Thank you for freeing me. The mother of death likes to play these little tricks. Okay. Meet Navali in the town. It's whatever. Okay, we can go to the uh, lower prison. Yeah. The prison has its own waypoint too, so it'll make it if you do want to go back to town. Okay. Be able to do it then. At least most effectively. The army of the Yours undead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was straight out of a Cleopatra. I guess she was perceived to be protected by the army of the undead, whoever breaks into her tomb. Oh, burn they oh. call such a place home. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Here we go, here's the waypoint. She was the first Egyptian babe. There's the waypoint. Alright, now Just where do so we go from here? Does it matter? What there... always jarred me about history is like, you know, kind of realizing at what point each civilization was at, like, in relation to each other. Like, Cleopatra was as recent as Caesar. Like, Caesar and Cleopatra had a thing. That's how recent yeah. she was. So. And what doesn't make sense is how these... How some of these civilizations, like, disappeared for no reason. Like, they just up and left. And it was like, why did Croatoa? you guys leave? You're doing so good. What? I like, would think of Croatoa. I think everything else, they have their own, like, fleshed out history. At least yeah. things you can figure out, right? Yeah. Oh, you want to do this? There's a little uh, parkour puzzle. Oh, wait, here. I, I honestly, I cannot help you whatsoever here. It's all traps and stuff. But uh, there's a parkour puzzle that will help you if you solve it. At least it's one sixth of something that will 
help you. There are six of these, and this is one of them. You'll want to do them all. Okay. Anyway, you know what the best uh, description I heard, uh, comparison I heard, Much was closer. that Cleopatra existed, uh, lived closer to the invention of the iPhone than to the creation of the pyramids. Wow. And that was true. I didn't believe it when I first heard it. I'm like, are you shitting me? And then I, I looked it up, and yeah, that, that checks out. Just barely, but it checks out. Wait a minute. The time of Caesar, was that like... Alright, you can come through, the door's open. BC. What? You, I opened the door. Yeah, now there's a thing at the very end. Uh, there's a tablet that you hit, and then it opens up a portal that brings you literally right back to where I am. Oh man, I got stabbed. Oh, I think I died. Nope, I nope, didn't die. Did. Uh, use your potions if you have them. Uh, one through five are all potions. I don't know which one's health for you, but... Or which two Oof. or three or four? I can't see in there, it's so hard. I think both these potions are empty too. Yep, they're empty, that's good. Yeah, just take your time, make sure you're, uh, you know, you watch for the patterns. You wait till the blades are gone, then you run through. Trying to figure out this puzzle is really hard. I don't have any health potions, so if I die, I'm dead. Oh. Oh, I got hit. Oh no! Run! Run, uh -oh. bitch, run! Oh. I gotta heal. Ah, just figured it out. They actually say it right above your name. For me, anyway. I don't know what it says for you. Oh, there's All a right, big I dude! Down, no! Downscaled to level 10. Now 11, because he leveled up. So that makes me kind of stronger-ish, but only through scaling. Okay. I killed Jorge! Jorge. Okay. Belief is the strongest metal of them all. The trial of ascendancy plaque. I got yes, that. Yes, the plaque. Hit that. I did. It'll open up. It'll open up a portal, and that portal will take you right back here. Sweet. There you go. So by hitting that plaque, that was plaque one of six. You'll need to do to unlock something very nice, and you'll need to do it for your character. Trust me, it's worth doing them. Okay. All right, onward and upwards. Okay, not here. Dead end? Maybe I should have started exploring. <laughs> yeah. I guess while while you're doing that I could have explored. Alright, next time. We'll know that next time. Too much clutter. Oh, here we go, something's here. Upper prison, there we go.
what is going on in here? Yeah. And lots of it. Oh. Wrong direction, apparently. This place is like a maze. Nah. Oh, God, dead end. Yeah, keep your map open. It's uh, really good for sifting through these. Why is it contagious? Exploring just to make sure we're not. Oh. Never mind. What I thought was a bit of exploring turned into this is probably the main way. Oh, I got a healing totem. It's gonna help us out. Get not down here. Can't confirm. Ah, uh, down here either. Okay. So, up here. Must be the way. I'll show you the way. What is that circle that just appeared? He's casting something. Probably not he's best casting. to stay in it, but... He's totally casting his death is what he's casting. Past it. Hold on, come back. Down here. It's gotta be. <laughs> I'm ultimately just guessing, but it looks right. I mean, when we have these big dudes casting things, we're probably going the right direction. There's so many. Here it is! Okay. It's nice when you get close enough and they actually show you on the map that there's a door there. Oh, I leveled Level up. Level 12. Oh, it tells you? Nice job. Oh, we're in well, the I wardens. See big, uh, I see that, you know, giant pillar. Uh, hang on, I'll, I'll level up. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, what is this building? Oh, my health potions refill. Yeah, as I didn't you kill, know that. Yeah, as we kill uh, monsters, they re regenerate. 
uh, one charge per kill. And so if, if you see that they have like some charges where it's like, oh yeah, in order to use this potion, you need to use like 30 charges out of 90 or, or something like that. Then it'll, that's what it means. One charge is like classic. per kill. Okay, but if um, say you got the kills and I was nearby because we're in a party, would your kills count to refill it? Yep. Sweet. Or at least that's the only reason why I can imagine all of yours to be completely filled. Because it must have counted. Oh wait, here we go. Here Free we go. labor is what it sounds like. Warden's chambers, that sounds important. Let's go there. We're gonna have to fight the warden, right? Oh shush. No problem. Easy. Watch the trap in the middle. Watch the big trap in the middle. Had you been my creation, brute, you'd not have fallen so easily. Grab the few things. Oh, maybe a helmet. So then, many stuff. Too much clutter. So many stuff indeed. I think I might be able to use some of this. No. No. I'll probably just sell it. Here, I'm gonna stand. I assume that was a quest. You got something for it? I have no idea. I'm gonna stand right here and get rid of stuff that I don't need. Yeah, Salkin says we're still in the prison. Let me look ahead. I see another door up here. I don't think there's any enemies. Ah, oh, there we go. Here's the prison's gate. Okay. Alright. So this is it. Turns out, this is what you're looking for. What is better, an energy shield or a global physical damage? Physical damage is not something you do, but I don't know what global means, so you have, like, you have people, you have... Okay. You have minions. I don't know if global actually affects them, too. If not, I, I actually would say, just to be safe, uh, energy shield, because that's, that's like your overshield on top of your life. It's basically life, it, but it's life okay. that regenerates quickly. Yeah, you, it's it's good. It's very good to optimize that. There's literally someone else's build. AJ's build. Literally, it goes... He has a special ability. It's a passive skill you can grab. That makes it so that your total life is equal to one. But it buffs up your shield by a whole, whole shitload. And most importantly, it, it makes you immune to uh, chaos damage, which ignores your shield. But you don't have to worry about that. Chaos damage okay. won't, won't play you. Not for a while. But yeah, yeah. Shield's good. Yeah, up here is where you want to go. This is uh, what you asked me about a while ago. The well, I already forget what it's called. Prisoner Gate? Yeah, Prisoner's yeah. Gate. Looking at these gloves right here, I'm wondering if they're better than what I have. We're about to find out. Now here's a toss up. So I got a, it's plus 16 to maximum energy shield for the chain belt, but I got a belt here that's plus 33 strength, plus 17 strength, and plus 8 to maximum life. So what much, does the strength, do, strength? do? That's what I'm wondering. What does the strength do? Uh, generally just for equipment. So okay. like, uh, it would. You wouldn't care about strength. I mean, you personally, with your okay. magic build, you wouldn't care about strength unless you needed it for equipment. Like, if your gear said that you needed, you know, some strength in order to to be able to equip it, that's that's different. You would you would want that. But uh, otherwise, energy shield. Maybe for now. Maybe once strength becomes a problem, then you can equip that. Just like okay. kind of keep it in your back pocket. 32, 9, 17, that's 1 to 5 lightning damage. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is uh, getting stripped, being removed. These are going on. Perfect. Poi effect. Poi effect. All right, let's do this. Not yet. I'm leveling up all the things that it was. It okay. was in the top. It was in the right side. It said level up, so I just clicked the level up button. Prisoner's gate. Oh, there's the waypoint. And there's another one up ahead, apparently. Oh! Harder enemies here. Which is what's gonna help you level. That's good. What is that thing that's like exploding? I just grabbed it. It, it hurts us until we grab it, and then all of a sudden we're the source. We oh. are the source of oh, pain. Oh, you're ex there's something around you that's exploding. Yeah, well now, it's a shrine. It was like, um, so before it just, it's passively going and we get near it, it hurts us. This but if you grab it, then system. now, now we have it. Well, I have it, but yeah. So I can't get through that. Oh. A whole bunch of spikes work. appeared. Why am I in act two now? If you go back, you'll uh, see me stand here. I can't see him. There's a whole bunch of spikes that appear, yeah, so I that, can't. Yeah, that's act two. I don't remember why. Okay. All right, so not here. Where do you need to go? Meet uh, Navali in town. Travel to the to Flooded to the Depths. Graveyard. Travel to Lions I Watch. And find another way to the forest. Ooh. Here's a spell called Blood and Sand. That's pretty cool. That's Spartacus, season two. <laughs> Act dance, two. Let's dance, dance, dance. Nah. Hey, maybe worth the sell. Nah, I don't care about it. You can grab it if you want it. Where is it? Uh, it's up a little bit. Hold Alt, and you can see all the items around you. Uh, up here, there's a big one. Superior blood and sand. It's just not my kind of skill. All right. Maybe worth selling, but. I don't know how the trade system works, not too well. I will. I'm learning it, but I don't know it fully yet, so I don't know. That's worth it. A large life flask. That's good. So you can go that way, but I can't. So I'm kind of curious as to why. Act 2. Okay. It was only after you said it, then I noticed it was Act 2. So I have to complete what they want me to complete before I can go to Act 2. Oh, Goatman! For sunken, some oh the ship graveyard. That's right. That's right. Okay. Ah, uh, the foot of depths. Uh, let's go southwest. I decree southwest. All right. Where did you go? Because I'm. I started exploring. I went southwest. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm coming. And it's just that. Hold on, let me run back. Yeah. Here we go. This is a little bit of a, a twisting path, but it goes a little north, but otherwise, yeah. Oh, get out of here.
fun stuff. Hold on. Currency item. Gotta grab it. And right up here is where I found it. We're gonna be dealing with ghost pirates. Appear to be dining well. Hey, another waypoint. Actually, let me sell some stuff back at town. I'll come back here. That's a good idea. Inventory's getting a little bit over. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Over, I don't know. Over ambitious. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next. Bye. Oh, <laughs>